Hi everyone, so today I am going to be doing a planner video. I know I've seen the comments. I haven't been doing these weekly. Um, you probably know why I've mentioned it here and there, um, but I've just been like, I went on a like vacation and then it's just like going back to school, you know, working on getting my daughter's driver's license, homecoming, all that stuff. So I haven't had time to plan and sometimes, you know, life happens and that's one of the great things about planning for me is that I do it out of joy. I don't feel bounded to do it. You know, it's because it's like a creative outlet, it's fun, and yes, the more that you actually write down what you have to do, the likelihood of you actually completing that task is two, three times greater. I am also going to just do some light chit-chatting, but I am gonna leave, um, you know, the sounds on because I know a lot of you love the cutting sounds. So let's go to the last spread that I did on my channel, which was this like fall fox woodlands creature spread. I adore this. This was very popular in my Etsy shop. I think there's still a couple more available if you're interested. Um, eventually I am gonna go back just because I don't want my planner to be to have empty pages, but I am going to plan, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and plan the current week we're in. So it is Thursday the 22nd, no it's not. What am I talking about? Whoa, we're like over here. Yeah, so it's Thursday the 29th. So I'm gonna go ahead and plan this week right here. So let's go ahead and get started. So I want to do a fall apple, like farmer's market feel. Um, so I have the scrapbook. I got this a while back at Tuesday morning for $5.99, which like blew my mind. So if you know me, then you know I gravitate towards anything fall related, no matter what season we're in. So when I saw this in the summertime, I was like, I'm going to get this. They have all of these little like Project Life cards that you can cut out back here, which are amazing. has a pink tint to it and I don't want any pink in this so I will be covering up all of these little boxes over here. Whenever you are cutting a paper with specific lines that go in a specific direction, think about which way you are cutting them so that you are considering which way you want the lines to look like in your box. So in this case, I want my lines to go um, vertically instead of more horizontally. So you'll see what that looks like in a second. So it would look like this. Versus if you cut them the other way, it would more or less look like that direction. I'm gonna go back and decorate the blank weeks that I have. I don't think that I'm gonna actually do a video on um, each week, but I will do a video showing you um, what I came up with and what it looks like. And I do have plans for um, very specific spreads for um, October, so they should we should be back on track with weekly planner videos at this point. All 
All right, so usually the next step that I do is going to be my washi and I am just going to figure out what I want to do because sometimes I have a vision and sometimes I don't. I am going to be utilizing some fruit stickers, which is really going to pull in that farmer's market feel for me. And I have this gorgeous fruit washi that I'm not sure where I want to put it. I'm trying to decide what color washies need to go in these three sections. Hmm. I have apple washi here, but I would rather use the one that has more fruit in it. Have argyle. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put my fruit washi down here and I need to cover up those words so that you can't really see them. All right, so I covered those up with some white printer paper just because I didn't like the way my washi looked. kind of working on my layout a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my farmer's market touch with my fruit. As you know, this is like one of my favorite things to add to my planner, which is an envelope so that you can store additional little things in here.
And then this way you get like a two for one. You can write all this writing space in here and then you flip it over and you have a little envelope. You can keep your receipts or like your movie stubs, anything like that. That's why I love my Happy Planner because to me, it also kind of serves as a scrapbook. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh, I really love this. The washi was very challenging for me, but I really do love the washi selection that I ended up making. Right now I want to add some cute paper clips and I wanted to do these because I didn't want to mess with like an icon, like I didn't want to do a fruit paper clip or anything like that. I wanted to just do something simple with color so that it would really pop and grab the colors that we have on here. And I thought these little pom-poms would just be so adorable and they are, they're so gorgeous. Okay, so now let's talk Etsy. I am gonna sell this spread. It's gonna be very limited quantity. It's not gonna be as many as you would have had for the Fox. So I will link it down below if you are interested in this. What won't be included unfortunately in this kit will be the um, lettering stickers here just because if I were to include them it would really kind of skyrocket the price and it would probably just be easier if you guys found some gold um, or even red you could do red sticker letters but otherwise everything else the fruit stickers the washi um, you know the cutouts and this and the pom-poms are all going to be included and don't forget if you feel really inspired by the farmers market check out your local like town or city wherever you live chances are they probably have some sort of farmers market available i know where i live dallas has an amazing farmers market and then my local city has them as well and they're so fun to go to and you really support you know like mom and pop shops which i really love to do so this would be a great time for everyone to like check out Farmer's Market. It's so fun, even if you just go stroll around and look. So I hope that you guys feel inspired by this spread as always. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye, guys.